بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از رستم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریکارڈ اے لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر فار بی ایس سیکنڈ سیمسٹر اسٹوڈنٹس دا کورس نیم از کمیونیکیشن اسکلس اینڈ دس ایڈریسیز آف دس ویڈیو لیکچر آر اسٹوڈنٹس بی ایس اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹڈینگ ایٹ گورنمنٹ ڈگری کالج حویلیاں ہو آر ان دا سیکنڈ سیمسٹر ہاؤ ایور ایز دیز ویڈیوز can easily be accessed by everyone at my YouTube channel, Rustam's Way of Learning English. So we can say that uh, the, the course, the, this course, uh, Communication Skills are English 2 or English 2nd. Wherever it is being taught, every student can uh, access it. Second, that it's a kind of general, uh, you know, lecture, so anyone can benefit from it. Even uh, some teachers can uh, uh, come to this uh, YouTube channel and they can find it useful. Because uh, sometimes uh, teachers don't have time to prepare a lecture, so this will help them because it's a ready-made lecture. Now, if you are visiting uh, the YouTube and watching it uh, for the first time and uh, you are requested to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon, Uh, so that whenever next video is uploaded you are notified so in second semester uh, in general english that is compulsory english uh, english compulsory we have uh, this course uh, and in this course there are many you know uh, sub chunks like uh, grammar in context writing okay uh, oral communication skills then we have uh, uh, vocabulary skills and also reading skills so in order to uh, talk about reading skills uh, i have just picked up few points from the course content as you can see uh, it was uh, see like uh, reading process so today in this course uh, actually this course consists uh, if you talk about reading skills so this course consists of uh, sub skills of reading okay like skimming scanning previewing anticipation inference and uh, contextual meaning and then sifting fact from opinion uh, finding attitude and tone of the you know uh, attitude of the reader sorry writer and a uh, few others but today i have uh, selected only what is reading and what is reading process and uh, it it can be considered as the first part of reading you know uh, lecture video lecture then in the remaining uh, two or three parts i'll further uh, talk about reading and so that this uh, segment of the course is fully uh, taken care of so in today's uh, video tutorial i'll talk about uh, uh, what reading is actually so what's the role of eye and uh, brain or mind you can say okay mind and then visual and non visual information so what what is visual information which helps in reading uh, and uh, what is non visual information these are the ma major uh, points today points on injured agenda today so uh, in the ensuing slides i'll talk about these okay so let's move to the uh reading process this diagram has been uh, designed by myself okay i usually don't pick things from internet cuz uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, measure up to my needs so i customize uh, diagrams myself so before we proceed further let me give you the ex uh, exact definition of reading uh, this uh, def definition has been taken by uh, from Christine uh, Nettles uh, book on reading and uh, it is uh, uh, being it was discussed in Alamang Bar Open University book uh, course uh, 5659 uh, unit number 6 so students who are listening to this uh, video tutorial they must also have hard copy as well as a pdf copy with them of unit 6 which uh, discusses reading skills so if you have already gone through the text so this video after watching this video that text hopefully will be clear to you as you can do you know a double process like first read read the unit 
then listen to this video and then again go to the unit and read it so this way you will have conceptual clarity about reading so reading is defined by Christine as uh, is a both physical and psychological process of extraction of meaning uh, from written symbols or letters of alphabet so we are talking about sighted people people who have who have been blessed with eyes sometimes we have special people who uh, learn uh, ha has not gifted them with eyesight so those people also read but they uh, send signals not through eyes to the mind rather their signals are sent through tips of their fingers they uh, run their fingers over braille system and and then uh, through tactile signals uh, uh, mind is actuated okay and then meaning comes in operation so i'm talking about sighted people who have got sight eye, eye, eyesight or eyes so so it is extraction of meaning from written symbols okay so let's see how it happens before we proceed further let's say this is uh, someone uh, who is known as writer he is writer okay let me magnify for you so here is a writer and this writer is also called encoder and sender of the message so in the mind this is brain brain is something which is uh, physical in nature but uh, the psychological uh, uh, part uh, are you know can say uh, that is known as mind okay so in the mind of the writer there is a message or you can say there is a meaning or there are ideas thoughts and this writer wants to get these ideas out of his mind and he or she wants to get it across to someone else who is a reader okay here so first thing is that the ideas which are in the mind they have to be you know dressed up okay thought has to be dressed up in you know some code code mean a language so let's say this writer chooses english as uh, his or her code so this ideas th these ideas can be express expressed in urdu hindko pashto japanese french but uh, we are learning english as a second language or foreign language so let's say ideas from our message from the mind of this writer just put into english words and sentences now these words and sentences are now on paper paper sheet okay sheet of paper so it means the message or the meaning actual message which was in the mind of this writer this message now it is you know it is shrouded in mystery it is shrouded in the maze of words on uh, our printed symbols it is some hidden it is embedded in the in the uh, you know uh, letters of alphabet printed symbols you can say uh, written symbols so message is now buried deep down into words now message buried in words just uh, lands on the eye of the reader okay you are a reader and you are reading uh, written symbols and you are trying to recognize words and sentences but between between these sentences between these words somewhere there is a message which is encoded now and you have to decode it so this is physical when i say that reading is a physical process so physical means you need eyes if you don't have eyes you can't read so re for reading you need to have eyes so when these uh, words okay sentences they jump up they fly into your eyes okay and from your eyes as your eye is attached with the brain okay so your eye is attached to the brain so signals are sent to brain okay now brain mean uh, uh, when i s talk about brain brain is you know uh, something uh, physical part of your head but psychological process thinking processes take place in mind mind is an abstract entity so uh, words get into your mind 
okay readers brain or readers mind now what happens now these words are in the mind of the reader okay now reader has to uh, dig out meaning or message and he or she has to bring it back to life okay the message is embedded in words and sentences now reader's role is to extract okay uh, excavate bring out take out the meaning or message again from the written symbols but how does it happen first the chunk of uh, reading or the piece of reading through your eyes get into brain but when i talk about brain it means short term memory so first first it goes into short term memory somewhere here okay short term memory uh, if you are familiar with the computer parlance so you can say uh, ram random access memory okay uh, uh, very uh, volatile memory you know in which uh, information remains uh, for a brief period of time short term memory ram okay as computer is switched off data from ram just disappears so here uh, it gets into short term memory but uh, in your long term memory somewhere here long term memory okay which you can uh, equate with hard disk okay there you have already a lot of information okay buried deep in your mind because uh, you are a second language learner of english you already have uh, a li little bit knowledge about the word about the subject and already you have in your mind some knowledge so if you are reading a piece uh, on supports so already you have some information in your mind okay so the information that is in stm stm okay mind uh, just matches it with ltm long term memory and uh, extracts the meaning okay extracts the message and stores it in long term memory for future use and uh, other uh, you know irrelevant information is discarded okay and now uh, we can say reader after extracting the meaning uh, can uh, you know give response or feedback to the writer but how again writing a piece but in this case it is not uh, you know uh, spoken uh, uh, listening co uh, communication so it is a writer may be sitting somewhere very far away anyhow the reader will uh, extract the meaning and respond accordingly now this comprehension or extraction of meaning now again ha uh, have a look at the definition digging out meaning from the maze of linguistic code linguistic code means here uh words okay the language on the printed page okay words and sentences this is linguistic code and i have written the word maze because it it's really a puzzle you have to run through the you know through through these words cause uh, meaning or messages uh, buried somewhere in the lanes and corridors of this maze and you have to you know put some cognitive effort later on i'll talk about uh, some level of comprehension okay so what is the you know how can a reader uh, extract meaning anything that helps in this process let me take you to the uh, before i proceed further so let me uh, explain again uh, physical as well as psychological process so definition of uh, reading is the reading is both a physical as well as a psychological or cognitive or mental process of extraction of meaning from written symbols so this is a passage that has been taken from christine book in the reading process which i just mentioned uh, in the previous slide different human organs work together in order to comprehend the meaning comprehend understand the meaning concealed in print so the meaning are embedded buried in the printed word so you have to bring them out and many organs work together and these are the two organs okay specifically in brief chunks of information chunks of information here means message message of the writer ideas of the writer thoughts of the writer 
chunks of information are sent to the brain via the eye okay so the role of eye is here so eye gives signal to your brain the brain then as you can see here the brain then processes the new information by keeping limited amounts in its short term memory very sh in short term memory it is said that we have only seven uh, bits of information more than this the short term memory can't hold okay so uh, short term memory before releasing on uh, releasing an overall impression overall impression just uh, overall impression of general meaning into its long term memory for future reference so it means how brain works that uh, the information from the writer through the eye gets into short term memory first then it goes into long term memory but not all the information only the bare minimum are the most essential are the gist of the essence of the information okay it goes into the brain and remains there for future use now what is comprehension the degree to which the reader is able to extract relevant information from a text is known as comprehension you might have seen as a reader that sometime you understand very less from a text and sometime you understand or you get or extract the meaning fully and then there is also difference between different readers so let's say a piece of a newspaper is given to two students of the same age but their comprehensibility their comprehension or their understanding will be different one of them may bring out all the meaning uh, sent by the author by the author and the other one may not get at the bottom and say he hasn't understood anything so it means uh, comprehension is uh, 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 variable it it is not absolute it may vary from person to person so what are the factors which help comprehension so if you are reading a passage reading passage and you want to extract meaning from it you want to dig out the embedded message uh, of the author so so two types of information can help you one is the visual information on the page which your eye sees okay second was one is non visual information which is in the mind in the mind of the reader so what you as a reader see on the page is first printed symbols a b c d like words this is a book these words are symbols are there second is few diagrams may be there few charts pie charts may be there some bar graph may be there okay or other kinds of pictorial representation this is what you see on the uh, you know a reading uh, print sheet so from just looking at pictures you can have an idea about the uh, general meaning of the topic okay let's say if there are two pictures regarding uh, sports on a page so you can have an idea that this passage must be about sports okay now there is some information about sports already stored in your mind this is known as non visual information a reader whose who whosoever he or she may be when he or she comes to a reading passage so there is already a prior knowledge of the word in his mind or the subject okay let's say if it is sports uh, exposition or support so he or she has a knowledge about sports and uh, language if he or she is good at english because it is english language he is reading some text in then it, his or her comprehension will be very good so these three things uh, play a very important part your background knowledge how much knowledge you already possess about the word okay about the subject and about the language so they are going to aid your comprehension they are going to help you dig out meaning quickly and fast so that's why you will be called later on that someone is very good reader he or she can uh, snatch out extract meaning uh, all types of meaning from a written text he or she can sift fact from uh, you know opinion he or she is so good at uh, reading comprehension that he can tell the attitude of the writer okay he can tell that writer has a certain bent of mind 
he can even skim the information scan the information so this all these are all sub skills so this all is facilitated and aided by visual and non visual information on the page so now let me sum up reading process and then i'll talk about uh, the background knowledge again and what are other factors which impact on understanding of a text so let's uh, go uh, the chunks of information are held in the short term memory but for a limited time okay the reader then refers to his long term memory including uh, matching the newly received information with what is already stored in the mind the reader receives the print images through his eyes as visual information okay visual information the background knowledge that the reader has stored in his long term memory is used to fill in the gaps in the message in this way he combines what he already knows with what he has just received to identify meanings so both things help so the uh, the text which is flying into your eyes and then into your brain it is incoming uh, you know uh, text and already you have knowledge stored in your mind so both are matched and if there are some gaps they are filled uh, by matching all this identification of a certain word or phrase helps the reader to predict what is to follow okay now reading comprehension factors there are four important factors which Uh, really affect reading comprehension uh, earlier i said that some students some readers are very quick at getting at the meaning or message of our ideas or thoughts of the writer but some find it challenging to get at the uh, meaning so what are the factors which uh, which help or which facilitate first is memory second one is non visual information third one is reading speed fourth one is nature of the text uh i won't go into detail in this short video uh, maybe i record some another video on these factors but memory so memory differs from person to person as you know that even in uh, uh, when we purchase a laptop so even our ram ram and hard disk they have varying capacities okay i core 2 i core 3 i core 5 etc so is the case with readers readers may have these i cores okay so some readers may have very good short term memory some uh, may not have very good short term memory so it it has something with genetics some may have very good long term memory that they can retain the data over a longer period of time but some one's memory may not be as strong as uh, others for others so if you have a good memory you can retain the information otherwise not then comes uh, non verbal information non visual information your general knowledge about the world okay so if you are reading a passage about a uh, first man in space so it's a scientific exposition so you must have a lot of knowledge about science on the uh, on the whole then uh, knowledge of the language so language also plays important role if you are reading a passage in urdu which is your mother tongue or l1 it's it's quite easy for you to understand it although reading in even urdu is not sometime very easy for us but usually it is considered that reading in l1 or mother tongue is easy as compared to reading in esl english as a second language so language if you are reading it in english so english you must have full command over all the systems of english otherwise uh, sometimes science students complain that they can't understand a passage because if it were written in urdu it would have been easy for them to understand but as it as it is written in english so english is a foreign language for them so their comprehension is in, uh, uh, kind of uh, you know restricted third is the uh, knowledge about the subject okay so subject let's say if some you are reading an article on religion so what knowledge you possess about religion so these three factors are known as non visual information and if you are good at these then your reading comprehension will be quite easy now reading speed if you are reading a passage very quickly so comprehension will be 
retarded sometime we read specific information known as scanning so the speed matters and other points like why some readers are very slow uh, there is a technical way that is known as fixation so it's very important factor reading speed so we need to uh, to be very careful about this and third one is nature of the text the text sometimes is so difficult okay it it linguistically it can be difficult that the sentences or clauses are very involved and complicated uh, you might have uh, read uh Tika by uh, john milton so that is you know one sentence spans sometime uh, half of the page without any punctuation marks so to interpret uh, interpret and extract meaning from such a involved language structure is quite challenging so there can be uh, cultural uh, kind of uh, challenges for you as reader you are reading a story a novel in a written in the backdrop of a foreign culture as you are not familiar with that culture so like there is a word passion okay and uh, the passion uh, uh, word was specifically used uh, with the crucifixion of jesus christ so uh, the agonizing pain one gets at the hand physical as well as mental pain that is known as passion so it has got a special treatment in western culture so if you are reading some uh, something written in that uh, you know backdrop and you don't have any cultural uh, idea so it will be difficult for you to understand that passage and s- second one is uh, the last one is conceptual uh, challenges the concepts presented uh, they are very challenging like you are reading a fundamental a uh, very profound idea let's say theory theory of relativity theory uh, of relativity are is equal to E is equal to mc square it's a very profound idea so this concept is quite challenging for you to understand so nature of the text also impacts or affects your comprehension so uh, here i am going to end my presentation because it is already uh, the file size is uh, too much now so uh, as a reader uh, when we come to a text we uh, have already uh, prior knowledge of uh, the word the uh, the subject and the language and uh, then we also are aided by the uh, visual information on the paper and bo- um, put together this facilitates our aids our reading comprehension now in the next video i'll talk about three levels of reading comprehension and then i'll be talking about sub skills of reading like what is skimming scanning previewing uh, prediction anticipation inference contextual meaning and what is the um, uh, uh, like uh, cohesive devices in our text what are the rhetoric uh, rhetorical devices are uh, i mean rhetoric of the text so like uh, in uh, julius caesar there is speech by antony so that speech is a masterpiece of rhetoric uh, so rhetoric you if you are able to recognize uh, rhetorical devices in a text it means you are a very good reader uh, and uh, then uh, there are you know uh, formatting uh, format of the text then there can be a fact and opinion so all this these are known as sub skills of reading and this is our course uh, i mean uh, these are the different chunks in second uh, english communication skills bs english second so i'll talk about these so bs second semester students studying at government degree college velia if they are watching this video you are directed to read chapter 6 of the book given to you uh, i mean uh, the uh, hard copies of the pages given to you or if you don't have access to hard copies then you can uh, download the pdf file and read at least you should be able to define what reading is okay and then uh, uh, what is the reading process okay how uh, a writer you know sends uh, messages uh, to the reader okay so what happens uh, through eye and in the mind what happens and then what how reading is uh, you know uh, aided our comprehension takes place so how we extract meaning from the uh, embedded uh, message uh, sorry uh, embedded uh, language okay language of the writer 
होपफुली फ्यू थिंग्स हैव बिन शेयर विद यू एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच